Good afternoon, Grade 1B. I want to talk with you today about writing inform- informative text. The Grade 1 expectation for you is to be able to write a paragraph. That means five sentences in total. One sentence is the introductory sentence. It gives information to your public about what you're going to be writing about. Then the next three sentences are for facts about that item. It might be animals, that's very popular. It might be rocks, it might be space. Okay. Then the fifth sentence, so you have one intro, three facts, plus one more sentence that is the concluding sentence. It wraps everything up. It's going to be a sentence like this. I think the seahorse is great. Or it might just be the seahorse is great. The intro sentence gets everybody hooked. And so it's common to use, let me tell you about the and then the animal that you're going to talk about. And we've been learning about three pieces of information, three facts. One about the kind of animal it is, another about what it has in the way of characteristics, maybe fins or feathers or how many legs it has. And then the third sentence we've often done, what it can do, something it can do. And then when we've been writing a fourth sentence, we've talked about what it likes to eat. But in this case, let's focus on the intro, three facts, and one concluding sentence. Let's review now what we wrote, or sorry, what Miss Kate wrote about the seahorse. Let me tell you about the seahorse. That's the introductory sentence. I'm going to stop there. We're going to focus on that one right now. I want you all to be successful with writing that introductory sentence. So let's go to Miss Kate's writing book now. And this is like your journal that you have, okay? And I'm going to write here one sentence. Let me tell you about the seahorse. First, let's count how many words there are. Let me tell you about the seahorse. 3 plus 5 is 8, so 8 words, okay? Capital on the L, let me, one finger space between the two words, right? Oh, I made a mistake here, and I made a mistake here, okay? Let me, one finger space. Because I'm starting a new word. If I put them all together, it's going to look like one big word and it'll make it hard for your readers to read. Let me tell, one finger space, let me tell you. You. One finger space, is not enough room there for about, so I'm going to do it on the next set of lines. About. Remember, proper letter formation and alignment. See how Miss Kate is starting at the top, coming down to the bottom? The C horse. Okay, I want you to write this at home, friends. Okay, let me tell you about the seahorse. Now, before we start doing school at home, I said that I was going to have you start making sure that you wrote two sentences and not just the one, because I want your memory to get bigger. Okay, your ability to hold information in your head. So, let me tell you about the seahorse. Now, let's do the second sentence. The seahorse is a type of fish. And we've done this kind of sentence a lot of times. We did the wolf is a type of mammal. 
okay? The cat is a type of mammal, so the horse is a type of mammal, but in this case, the seahorse is a type of fish. So I'm going to write, oh, let's see how many words there are. The seahorse is a type of fish. Five and three makes eight. Eight words again. The sea. I'm remembering my one finger space between each word. Horse is. You hear my cat, Izzy? Ah. She wants to be a petter. Type. <laughs> she really wants me to pet her. Of fish. What do I need to remember at the end, friends? Period. Okay, so let's look at the two sentences. I remember to use proper letter formation, alignment. I put a capital on the L because it's at the beginning of the sentence. Okay. I have one finger space between each word, so I can see where one word ends and the next word begins. I've aligned my letters nicely so that they're either in the head and the tail, I'm sorry, <laughs> in the head and the body, or only in the body. Some of the words down here you can see are in the body and the tail, okay? And I've made sure my sentences have finished with a period and that they make sense. Let me tell you about the sea horse. I'm going to tidy up my Y a little bit. The sea horse is a type of fish. Now, I'm not happy with this a ah, because it's up in the air. Look at that. So I'm going to erase it. And I'm going to write it again. Okay? Is a type of fish. We're going to stop there. I want you to write those two sentences for me, okay? And in the next video that I'll be sending to your parents, we'll do two more sentences and then. We'll do one final video in which we talk about the concluding sentence and we also draw the picture, okay? So right now, I want you to focus on writing your two sentences. I don't want you drawing a picture yet, okay? Listen to my words, please. Write the two sentences. Don't draw the picture yet. We'll do that in the next video, okay? focus on this right now please friends and I'll then post the next video for you to do the rest of the work in okay talk to you later bye